pain and um, um, back to school. This was a young rubber guy named Jimmy. Um, he, um, he just needed to like partner. But um, that was because that was because he was on drugs. So this was a um, Rodney Dangerfield film. I don't know if anyone young knows about Rodney Dangerfield. He did a movie on the dog. Um, but he was um, in this movie, Back to School. And in this movie. Robert Downey Jr. is like a dumbass while Oingo Boingo was playing in the background. And it wasn't just Oingo Boingo. They literally got Oingo Boingo in the movie. Like, they had Danny Elfman and his, and his band just in this college campus or fraternity and then they were singing they were singing um, Dead Man's Party and while they were singing the song Robert Downey Jr. all he does is that again you can just blame that on the drugs Funny enough, he wasn't a movie. With Bill Paxton. And, um... What's his name? I forgot his name. But, he, but for some reason, he was in Halloween Kills. And, um... He was, um... In Weird Science. Which was also a song by Yoingo Boingo. Why am I talking about this? I have no idea. Hi, salutations everyone and welcome to Danganronpa V3 where we last left off. Um, I was tired and we were trying to do an investigation. I don't know if we're going to do the trial in this stream. Maybe in a later stream tonight. I don't know. But I'm trying to like play this right now before everyone wakes up or before the day starts i was like thinking why not i woke up a bit early i have coffee in my hands but why not it's that stupid like um you know produ productivity that you get late at night or in the morning that you just start wanting to do more stuff so anyway we are here to look at the investigation and see what's outside. Now I've already pieced out the clues I said in the last stream what could possibly be it. That Kaito is faking this death and you know making Kokichi the black end or Kokichi's the one that got killed. But how was he killed when the press was not supposed to kill anyone because it had a safety function? And also the whole point is that everyone is in on this murder and they're just writ making Suichi have more hope by making supposedly the right decision. So, and that's also that possibility. What was the other possibilities again I said? Um, that it was all planned. Kibo probably gave Kaito the weapons through the window, if I remember correctly, that's what I said as well. Again, I'm trying to brush my mind up again to make sure I don't fuck up the trial, which we all know I am going to fuck up this trial because there are other clues in it that I'm going to be like confused, wondering what am I supposed to do? Because Danganronpa V3's trial system is really different than the other games but I hope that that doesn't affect me because sometimes you gotta lie sometimes you gotta do other things as well so anyway 
let's look at this thing that I said I was gonna look at. It's the control panel that controls the electric barrier protecting the hand. You hit it with an electrical hammer, so it isn't operational right now. That's true. That's right. What are these marks here? It looks as if it's been struck by something sharp. What could these be? Wait, how were they even able to damage this in the first place? Getting near the control panel should cause the alarm to go off. You have to turn off the alarm before you can even get close. Someone must have turned it off manually or again, maybe that electro hammer that Maki said that she didn't have that was probably taken from her. Think about that. Who knows? Unless it was Kokichi that was scratching this thing. He was like coughing up blood and that's what happened. I don't know. So how did the person who did this get into the control panel? Fingers front shutter has been added to the true field section on the mono pad. Alright, anything of interest we want to look at here? With the hanger shutter? Bang your shutter. There's a security alarm here. You have to use the alarm remote to disable it to get near the shutter. So, someone must have had the remote then to disable it. And that's why someone was near the control panel thinking it probably would have gone off. If you come near the shutter without the remote, a lot of alarm would go off around the entire academy. We had to use an electro bomb to save the sensor and the alarm. That's how we got into the hand. <laughs> it's not exactly a bomb. Well, even if it is called an electro bomb, it chimps electronic signals by scattering particles that interfere with electromagnetic waves. Kind of like Metal Gear Solid. For those two hours, any and all electronic devices within 50 yards would be completely disabled. It's perfect for any security activities too, since it doesn't leave any debris behind. This invention is extraordinary, but I only have three of them. So I need to use them carefully. You guys will have to settle for the electro hammers. So, that means someone must have used some, one of the electro bombs. One was stolen by Maki, but one of the other two. Probably Kaito. Probably someone. Maybe Kaito took one from Kokichi, gave it to someone through the window, and then they were there. I'm just thinking of ideas. What could happen? Alright, well, that's it. What's left is Kibo. I think I'm starting to feel a little better now. Oh. Give me a second, Kibo, I'm drinking coffee. I'm sorry to worry you, Suichi. Uh, okay. Uh, I was a bit worried. I'm glad you're feeling better. There was something I need to ask Kibo. Hey. hey, Kibo, before we went into the hangar this morning, you said... So I went to the hangar last night and tried to talk to him. You tried to talk to him on your own? I'm sorry, I thought it would be preferable for me to release Kaito peacefully. How did it go? It went about as well as I expected. There was no response at all. But I did witness a few things. Uh, um, 
You said that you witnessed a few things. What exactly did you see? Hmm. Oh, yes. Since we were in a hurry, I only told you about the Exosalt returning to the okay. hangar. Yes, you said the Exosalt could pass through the alarm system and barrier to the hangar. So, there's the other possibility that someone was in, the, in an Exosalt and the alarm didn't trigger because someone was in it. That could also be one too. There's a lot of possibilities that could happen. Yes. I never imagined something like this would happen, so I didn't mention it before. But before I saw the Exosol, I saw someone heading toward the hangar. Huh? You saw someone? Um, I saw Himiko. Okay, I think everyone's in on it. There's no way. Everyone's in on it. Everyone's in on this murder. The one person is the black end. You can't tell me. This is an inside job right here. This was all planned from the start. Suichi is just the pawn in all of this. I was in my lab trying to think of what I should write to convince Kakichi. That's when I saw her walking toward the hangar, clutching something in her hands. Probably magic. I think it was a black bag. A black bag? I... At the time, I assumed she was going there to examine things or plead with Kokichi. And since she came back later, I didn't think much of it. But, but after seeing her reaction this morning, I started to get a little suspicious. Huh? What did you see? She was acting like she had something to hide. It's not that I want to suspect her. True. It is suspicious. So we gotta think about why she did that. She might be one of the people that's gonna have a hard time convincing to admit something. Hey! You said you saw her come back as well. Was she holding the bag at the time? No. Now that I think about it, she didn't. She had it coming in. Not leaving. It has to be that black bag, Himiko. It has to be. Yeah! The black bag Himiko was carrying. Yeah, that's right. That's the one that Kaito was given. So Himiko was the one that gave it to Kaito. So that means. Himiko was the one who gave Kaito the weapons to help him fight Kokichi. Ah, now it's starting to make sense. Um. By the way, this is a little off topic, Suichi, but. Huh? Oh, huh, what is it? The reason I wasn't feeling well may have been due to the electro bomb. But but it was because of the electromagnetic particles, not because I'm a robot. So what I experienced was akin to an allergic reaction such as hate So it could have been affecting a human the same way. Being a robot had nothing to do with it. Okay. Okay, I will keep that in mind. That it can also affect humans as well. So the thing he can say was bothering him. He really is a bit too sensitive. Okay. I'll keep that to account that it would affect everyone. In case someone says that it would have only affected anyone that is electromagnetic. I either gotta lie about that or I gotta tell the truth about it. Okay. All right, so I think we're done around this area. That means we gotta go to the other area to see this. Let's go to the window. Let me see if I can investigate that. This is the best window. This is the hangar's only window, and it's not possible to fit through. 
That means the only way to get into the hangar is to the shutter. Yeah. That's about all I was concerned with in the hangar. But I still don't have any more clues. There have to be more. The other places that might yield some clues are Maki's lab and my lab. For the crossbow and bathroom, the bottle of poison. I need to investigate all those right. leads. I should also s inspect three exercises that were protecting my Akuma. Why were they protecting him in the first place? That might be related to the case as well. Well, I was saying that first. Don't, like, rush back to those labs. I was like, okay, well, what about the exosols first? So, okay. That would mean small window. That means that bag can fit in there perfectly. Okay. So that means he may come out this black bag that had the crossbow and the poison in it. Alright, there they are. Blue, yellow, and pink. And Suichi also said the green one. <gasps> well, look at that. What did I say? If that's Maki's hammer? Let's see. Oh wow, look at that. We got a scammer on the chat. You know what we do. Ban the user. For spam. And also delete his message. There we go. There's an electro hammer here, but why? And it's out of power, it must have been used. And is it Maki's? But used for what? Now be careful. The electro hammer runs out of battery pretty quickly. So if, you do, uh, yeah. so if you use it against an exosol, it will run out of juice with just one shot, got it? If I remember correctly, if the electro hammer's power is expended, it requires 24 hours to recharge. You know that for certain. Use electro hammer as the head to the true full section of the bomb pad. I'm just saying it's going to Exosol's protecting my Akuma for some reason. Kikiji said he used the mastermind. The exercise should have been around him. But why were they still protecting Monokuma? The floor was in two. I suppose I was so called thinking about Kikiji and more Monokuma. Pay attention! Listen up! Take heed! I say! Monokuma? It's just. I noticed you came this way last night, Suichi. Huh? <laughs> you were acting all sneaky, weren't you? Like a teenage boy trying to creep into the adult movie section of the video store. I never been to those. I sadly missed out on those. When I became the right age to go to those adult movie sections, they were gone. Like, they left completely the moment I became of age to go in them. I never got to sneak into them because there were cameras everywhere in a store. When Dimple Records was still a thing back then, right before it sadly shut down, because their um, profits were not going as high as usual. Which makes sense because not a lot of people go to Dimple Records, which is sad. Um, there was, um, there, there was an adult movie section that had a lot of stuff. They had, I know they had hentai in there 
because when the sh the, sh the store was gonna shut down and close, I saw a Blu-ray collection of hentai. And I knew a lot of these hentai titles um, in there. And I was like, oh my god, there's a Blu-ray collection for hentai. I never bought it. I mean, because you can watch these hentai for free on the hentai sites you go to online, but like, I was like at awe and shock thinking someone bought, someone either bought this hentai collection and sold it to Dimple Records. <laughs> because they were so like probably done with it, like, oh, who cares? I can just watch this online, no problem. <laughs> but I never got to see the adult movie section. Ever. I think Blockbuster had one. Um, Hollywood Video had one, I think, as well. And um, Dimple Records had one. And when I saw it as a kid, I was like, damn. <laughs> I think I was... 17? I believe? I think I was 17. I wasn't old enough to look at porn yet, even though, come on. What teenager or what kid hasn't looked up porn before when they see it on TV or looked it up on the internet? Like, come on. Everyone knows this. Just because you have a are you 18 and older sign and say confirm that you are, we're lying. <laughs> Come on. And you can't convict me because I'm already of age, bitch. <laughs> so not only that, it's a petty crime. Like, as much as like, oh, we gotta shield it from children. Like, yeah, but you know they're gonna find it anyway. <laughs> the only way you can truly prevent someone to look at porn is if your parents have like a parental control on the internet, which I think is very smart. <laughs> that, oh, my kid has access to the internet on his phone. And if he's connected to my family mobile plan, he cannot see any inappropriate stuff with the parental control. But, kind of trap here, it does affect you as the parent that you can't see that stuff either. And you'd be like, shit, <laughs> what do I do then? <laughs> so I think, because I remember my sister had a parental control where you can't look up porn on the internet, but there's a loophole actually. It doesn't work on hentai. It only works on like actual porn, live action, but hentai, like if you read a doujin on a doujin website, or if you like watch from a hentai site, doesn't affect it. I think they changed it already, but they did. <laughs> Why are we in this conversation right now? I don't know. That's gonna be clipped. No way! But you didn't need to sneak around, cause the Axisols wouldn't have attacked you. Hey! We didn't have to sneak? Because everyone's coming to rent adult movies, so in a way, everyone going there is the same. Wait. No, 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 not that. Are you sure? I mean, okay, cool, because I didn't do that myself either. I've never been to an adult movie section as a wee cub. I, I didn't try to uh, rent Bible Black on DVD. <laughs> 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 um, I meant about the Exosols not attacking us. Oh! At the time, the Exosols were on autopilot and directed to only observe me! Hey, I'm... I 
movements are more limited now that the monocubs are around to pilot huh? them. You mean the remote control that Kokichi has? Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. So the exosols were being controlled by Kokichi's remote control, but they were focusing on Monokuma. So that means a lot of things. Someone must have taken, uh, taken. Kokichi for mouth, which probably was Kaito, and used it so the Exosols would not help Kokichi, and someone was piloting the green one, but then again, the green one wasn't being piloted yet, because they were still circling around Monokuma. And then a different color one took one of the uh, Exosol's place. Okay. Gotta think that. Gotta think that. Okay. So there's a lot of factors in the possibility of what happened in this scenario. Okay. Hey! Why are you telling me all of this? This puts the person controlling you at a disadvantage. But not talking about that. We're talking about this. Yeah. Even if it's put someone at a disadvantage, the class trial must always be fair. Hmm. The person who shared that info with me wouldn't be interested in sharing it with you guys. Hey. So, you share it instead. That way, it will be fair to all the participants. So someone else besides me knows this. Why wouldn't they share this information? Okay, okay that's all I can tell you. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, renting movies is so old school. It's more thrilling to illegally download them. Monokuma's after my heart. <laughs> I mean, I missed the days of renting movies back in the day when I was a wee lad, but um, yeah, it is more thrilling to do that than just, you know, renting movies. I mean, yeah, it's like the adrenaline of thinking, are you gonna get caught <laughs> kind of thing. But, you know, people have VPNs now that you can buy, and also people can just have a free browser that can just have a built-in VPN for free, and then you can just be, you know, um, just download like crazy, no problem. <laughs> so... Yeah, the world is making, the world has made downloading movies online more easy because the pandemic has made it more easy with same day release movies, um, like, you know, immediate, like, oh, like movies being released early on digital before it's Blu-ray releases. Um, that, um, bleh, bleh, bleh. that, um, ah, oh, fuck, that came out and the movie's still in theater, like, but right now it seems like only movies that are, like, don't do well in theaters or movies that do really well in theaters, sometimes, like, I think Barbie was still in theaters when its digital version came out. And the digital version came out, Barbie was still in the theaters, and, but people, I guess people still went to the theater to watch it, but also still got it on digital to be like, hey, let's go watch the movie at home or 
go and uh, support the movie further by just going to the theater and watching it. Except for Oppenheimer, because Oppenheimer was like, no, this is a theater experience. You're not getting the digital copy. <laughs> Nolan is pretty strict about that because he had to like really save face Wait. Okay, never mind. Hold on, just hold on. Sorry, I thought. <laughs> oh, and yep, I heard it. I heard the thing. I heard the like. I heard the yep. I heard it. Give me a moment. Okay, it's good now. It's good now. It's good now. Everything's fine and dandy. Wait, try again? Okay. Yeah, 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 it's good. Alright, anyway, yeah. So, Pandemic has made things a lot easier for people to download movies illegally. I still support films by going to the theater and watching the movies that I want to support, like Spider-Man, uh... What else did I watch? I, I keep forgetting what else I watch in the theater. All I can think about is Spider-Man. Oh yeah, and John Wick. I went to see John Wick. A lot of movies I wanted to go to see them and watch anyway, I wanted to support. Like, I was planning to watch Equalizer 3 in the theater, but then all of a sudden it came out on digital early and I was like, oh, I guess I'll watch it at home. No need to go and drive out there. Yeah. Anyway. Psycho Pop! It's like trying not to get caught by a big game hunter while holding your breath during sex. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> I miss this man I have to like, if there's a compilation out there of Monokuma saying the most out of pocket shit, there has to be. I want to see that compilation because he has a lot of good like um, metaphors that he does that are just so stupid but funny. So, there's gotta be, like, a lot of them out there I wanna see. I remember this. Next is all protecting on Akuma has been added to the tree forward section of the monopad. Alright, so, we're gonna take a fact here. This is either Machis or this is, you know, Kaijos, so, yeah. I know for certain that the episodes are being controlled by the future to make control, but why are they focusing on one of Puma? Okay, so they just say the same thing. I thought he was going to talk about how one of them is a different color. Oh, but okay. 
So I'm guessing the electro hammer would be all Did I? No. What? Wait, where am I? Hold up. Where's the. Oh, shit. Things are going worse now. <sighs> and downstairs, there shouldn't be a problem. But now there is. Oh, oh, that wasn't the stream. That one game jackass okay that was the stream right there that is weird how it started doing the thing when okay ultimate adventure ultimate lab shine of judgment Vinacchio loves to be casino. Cool. Uh, backyard beginning of. Okay. I'm trying to remember which room is closer. Aki. Maki. I said Aki. Maki's or, you know, mine. Okay. So mine is on the high top floor. That means. Be kidding me. You were working fine yesterday. And now you're not. I. I am upset right now. Because I'm trying to get this done. And I was like, oh, I'll be fine. Now I know I have to stop after investigation because I cannot have the trial get fucked up. Uh -huh. Wait. I was gonna see if the stream messed up when I when that happened. It didn't. But it might now. Okay, no. 
Okay, Maki's is not over here. It's gotta be like more upstairs. See, there we go, they're doing it again. See, yep, it's doing it again. Unless, well, it's not breaking down. That's weird. Unless it's because I'm stopping a lot because I see it looking like it's gonna break down. Okay, it's definitely up here. I believe. I think it was here next to the ultimate tennis player. Right? Yeah, here it is. as though there are less weapons here than I remember. Alright, everyone's here. I hope you're all ready. Are those weapons? So you went to my lab yesterday to find the weapons so you can take them on Akuma. It's because Kaito had them. Well, that's not looking well for him. Alright. So. First off, the knives, because, you know, Maki took them. I feel as though there are less than things I remember. Yeah, yeah, I know. But what about Maki who took the knife? Oh, that's it for the weapon shield, I guess. So I guess there's only... Firearms. Oh yeah, they I forgot they were aerosol. Um, black casing. As I suspected, there are two black bags here, identical to the one in the hangar. They are cases for the crossbows. The crossbows are inside no. and disassembled. But it looks as if they don't even fit in the case unless they are disassembled. So, Maki did tell him how to uh, assemble the um, crossbow, if I'm correct. Unless he had it pre made before he went in there. But then again, that doesn't make sense. So, that means Maki did tell him, and then he got the um, stuff. Also, they don't even fit in the case unless they're just assembled. But there are two. There were three of them. And I'm sure that Kaito didn't have a crossbow. That's true. In that case, the crossbow in the hangar must have come from here. Which means someone must have brought it to the hangar from here. Himiko. It's fairly difficult to put together the crossbow. I don't believe you'd be able to do it unless no. Maki taught me. I'll think more about that later. For now, I need to investigate. So maybe Monkey helped him, or someone must have assembled it. The thing is, if it cannot be formed in the bag because it has to be taken apart and it fit in there, either someone helped him with the crossbow, or was the crossbow planted in there to begin with? There's a lot of things that could have uh, I'm guessing I'm done here because there's not a lot to uh, do. Would you like to leave? Yes, I do.
Oh, damn, the creepy music ain't playing. Alright, I don't remember where the stairs were. Oh, there they are, never mind. This was Rantara, but we would never know what's in there because we never got to you as well. The ball of poison in the hangar, and it confirmed that it came from here. Small glass bottles, chemical shelf, I think that was where it was. I haven't seen any poison inside this lab, so... Small ball of poison I found this is from here. There's a little less liquid inside this bottle than the others. The label says strike 9 poison. This poison takes some time to spread, but you can get a small amount of it. It can be lethal. The bottle requires time to circulate, even a small amount. This must be a kill. So either, yeah, a little bit of liquid has been taken out of it, so that means a small amount means that this person probably poisoned them. But where's the other bottle that had it? Think about that. There's a bunch of bottles on top of the bed. Can someone take them out? Arsenic antidote. Arm like lock antidote. Knight's hate antidote. These bottles say antidote. I didn't know if they were here. According to the labels, each bottle is only one dose. And each one on the rules on specific Well, I suppose that makes sense. According to different kinds of poisons. None of these antidotes are for strike any poison. They're all for different poisons. But what's the bottle that had poison in there? Because we don't know the actual name of it. Even though there's strike 9 poison there, does that really mean that was the poison that was used? Because remember, there was a bottle that said poison and the other words were covered in blood. So it might be one of these fucking antidotes that had the that, that was used for helping with the poison. Maybe ooh, I think I know. Kaito might have used a poison. One of the poisons. To pretend to look like he was dying to probably get Kokichi's attention. When he had his ass, he, he shot Kokichi, or Kokichi shot him, and he got one of the antidotes to get himself back to normal, and fucked up Kokichi. What does that mean? All right. I investigated this room thoroughly, and I find any evidence that suggests Kaito is dead. On the contrary, Plenty of evidence to suggest Kokichi isn't dead. Now the is still moving around and the kingdom hasn't ended. Kaito's clothes were in the hydraulic press. No. Who is the victim of speed? No, it's too soon to be thinking like that. But I investigate a little more, I'll find something. There's still time to head back to the end. Perhaps I missed something. I'll check again. Hey, my boy is, my boy is doing it, my boy is working it, okay.
God. It's still messing up again. This is why I need to end it after investigation. Because I need to check if the internet is like fine before we do a full on trial. You can't have any screw ups for the trial. I really want to get this investigation done first before, you know, I don't want to just like, you know, end this stream prematurely while we are still investigating. The Nagito Kamida pickle. And. Oh my god. After this investigation, we're going to stream and uh, have to check the router and see everything is fine with it. Yep, there we go. Ugh. I'm so annoyed with this. I do not like this internet messing up on me. Oh, Suichi, can you come with me? Um, something wrong? I found something strange in the bathroom. Please hurry. Maki's there. I'm still convinced everyone is in on this. I'm still convinced <laughs> Suichi's a pawn. What are you talking about, Kibo? I thoroughly investigated that bathroom. Ooh, I fucked something up. Hey! Kiba, yes. what are you looking at? Take a look at this. Oh, look. Kokichi's outfit just randomly happened to be here while you guys were over here, huh? This is, this is all fucking fishy. It is fish. It is a poorly kept pussy. <laughs> it's soaked and wrinkled, but there's no doubt there are kukichis. Where did you find this? I didn't see it when I was investigating the bathroom. And why are they soaked? Well, the toilet seemed clogged, so I reached my hand down the drain. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that makes sense. Then. And I pulled out these clothes. It looks like they couldn't be flushed all the way. <laughs> Someone was really trying to 
put those clothes in there like, like get in, get in. <laughs> and then they flush them. Why were these clothes yeah. in the toilet in the first place? Yes, it was very brave of me. And thanks to that, I managed to find an important clue. I'm still suspicious of this. <laughs> Masuichi, please investigate as much as you want. Right. I will definitely put my whole hand in this toilet. Call in the toilet, huh? Then this isn't the time to hesitate. Okay. Wait a minute. Is that new? No, those are the arrows. Never mind. Kokichi's clothes, found in the bathroom. If they were found in the toilet, someone must have tried to flush them. What's the Who matter? would do that? Is something the matter? Please investigate. Kiba, okay, why are you so invested in this? I am getting suspicious of all y'all right now. Okay. The ultimate detective can't stop here. This has to oh, be an what? important clue. I made up my mind. Grab Kikiji's soaked clothes and spread them open. Huh. There's a small hole in the back. I also didn't know that there were X's on the back of his jacket. Like, they were poorly made. Oh wow, the controller batteries are low. Huh. Another small hole in the sleeve. They're, they're about the same size as the one in Kaito's sleeve. Okay, now it really is suspicious. Because why hide Kikichi's clothes when he has the same marks? That means one of them is alive and one of them is actually the one that got killed. Which might mean that isn't Kaito under that press. If someone was stuffing down the evidence of, of Kokichi's clothes that have the same type of marks as Kaito's jacket, then that does mean Kaito might be the black in and Kokichi is the one dead. And if Kokichi is the one dead... I mean, there's no loss. We didn't like him anyway. There are traces of blood around the holes too. What does that mean? It can mean that he was attacked. In that case, no. There's a chance Kokichi was the one crushed in the Edgar press. Thank you, Kiba. Thank you. Thank you. This is a very important clue. Oh, I'm happy I was able to help, but I must decline shaking that hand of yours. Yeah. I need to wash it. No. <laughs> Your hands aren't clean either, though. Yeah, but it's probably dirt and other stuff. At least it's not where someone shits. Why is the game still going, even though the mastermind is dead? Well, Kokichi was in the mastermind. Remember, he is a chronic liar. Um. Um. If this is awkward, Switch. I can leave and give you some privacy. Also, I don't think you should put your hand next to your mouth because you did put it in a fucking toilet. <laughs> You are concerned about that? Kiba and I washed our hands in the sink. <laughs> Should have done that immediately. And left the bathroom. Alright. 
There's nothing else to investigate. I'll maybe take a bit of a look at that clothing again, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? Let's talk to maybe... I guess, Sumugi. Hey, it's almost time for the class try to start, right? Is no one able to find Kikichi? No wonder. I haven't heard from anyone. I wonder where he went off to. Did he disappear? He can't still be in the hangar. Or are they there? Kikichi, do you think the one who died was Kikichi? It was. Who cares? <laughs> At that point, you don't want to do the investigation. I would have, hell, I would have saved you the trial. I would have been like, yeah, I did it. You don't need to investigate further. I did it. <laughs> and I got all these witnesses here to prove that I did it. <laughs> I even made a mixtape that said, I killed Kokichi Oma. And here's a picture of me taking a photograph with the dead body. <laughs> Suchi, do you think we we'll... okay, yeah, well. Huh? I mean, your face says you want to think to that. See. But I think that's just plain impossible. You have been making this from Stark. I can't believe someone like that could be killed by Kaito. I don't know, we'd be surprised. Ah, of course. I don't mean to compliment Kokichi or make fun of Kaito or anything. I know, you're probably right. Samugi has a good point. I still don't have enough clues to conclude that Kokichi died. But I'm certain that one of them must have. Oh. Wow. It's about that time. It's about that. right. It's time for the class trial where hope and despair meet head on. Please proceed to the Shrine of Judgment in the courtyard and head to the trial grounds. Everyone needs to be there. Got it? Got it. Everyone needs to be there. That means Kokichi or Kaito, whoever is alive, will be there. At the trial, we'll know who the victim is. I know Maki's not gonna talk to me, but let's just do this. She's gonna hate me. Jeez. It's time. I'll go on ahead then. <sighs> We're out of time. Let's head to the trial grounds. We need to settle our business with Kokichi. already starting. All of us. That means Kokichi will come too. Who? Who was it? I'll edit here to make it more um, intoxicating to wonder who was it. We will only know in the next stream. <laughs> but yeah, I want to check my internet to see if it's okay. Yeah, I also gotta do a few things, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next stream tonight, and we will do the uh, trial. So, ciao darlings, and remember, you are loved.